Hi everyone. The previous video is about the scanf function which is used to take input from user and this video is all about the size of operator and the ampersand operator. All of you are familiar with the system architecture. There are three types of different system architecture 16 bit, 32 bit and 64 bit. 16 bit is very old now but 32 bit and 64 bit are still popular. In the last to last video you have studied about the data types. All of our data types take some space on in our system like uh, your movies, your documents, your files take some space on your system. So these variables also take some space in your RAM. So this space is different according to 32 bit and on 64 bit the space is different. My system is 64 bit so on this system how much space my data types are taking uh, this we can know by the size of operator. So I'll print that size by the size of operator of integer variable at size of operator returns an integer value so the format specifier will be percent %d and uh, this we can know by size of and int. So this is the now we'll end up semicolon. Now this is the closing break of this printf and size of has a round closing brace this. So size of of integer variable this statement will print the screen on the screen the size of of the integer variable. So the size of of the integer variable is 4 bytes. So 4 bytes is uh, reserved for integer on 64 bit system now I'll check it for float it's 4 bytes now we'll check it for char it's 1 byte now I'll check it for double it is 8 bytes so no, for integer and float it is 4 bytes and for character it is 1 byte and for double it is 8 byte so these all are the sizes on 64 bit system remember that uh, if you have a 32 bit system or uh, maybe someone has a 16 bit old system these sizes may differ on that so, and the next part of this video is about the ampersand operator. The ampersand operator is this. You are familiar with this operator. We have used this in scanf. So this operator is tell us that as uh, you know that the mo your movies and files and documents stored in the system, so they have some address like uh, I have this folder C files. So it is stored on the desktop. So this is the address of these files that C users, HP laptop, desktop and after that C files in the folder. So like this your variables also occupy some space so they have some address. So by this operator we can know the address of uh, the variable. We will declare a variable for this integer variable int a. Now we will print the address like percent d as uh, it is a uh, we want it to be an integer value. So the view have used the format specifier percent %d and uh, ampersand a. Ampersand a will tell us that uh, what is the address of the where the a variable is stored. So this is the address where a variable is stored. If I have stored some other uh, b variable that is also of a teacher. Now I'll print that way. I will copy this line and uh, again paste it. Now present b this line will print the address of a and this line will print the address of b i'll use the backslash n for the next line this was a escape sequence there is a whole another video for it so, so this is the address of a this is the address of b so first it assigned the address to b uh, that is the rest of the numbers are same just last two numbers are different 72 and 76 so integer take four bytes so after 72 it's 76 so the next video is all about the operators. Oh, thank you.